Jeffrey's cats are very good swimmers and have sometimes been observed swimming in fast flowing rivers that are 30 meters wide. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. Footage from Mongo Bay, and these are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongo Bay to get notifications about our latest videos. Geoffrey's cats were named after the 19th century French zoologist Etienne Geoffrey saint hilaire Multiple animal species were named after him, including the Geoffrey spider monkey, which we covered in a previous episode. Geoffrey's cats are one of the most abundant felids of South America. They live in the Pampas, Andes, and Gran Chaco areas in the southern part of the subcontinent. These felids are amongst the world's smallest wildcats, about the same size as a domestic cat, weighing around 4 kilograms. Usually those living in the south of their range are bigger than those in the north. Their fur has many black spots with a background color that varies between regions, from brownish yellow in the north to grayish in the south. Melanistic forms, black coats, are also common, mostly in wetland or forested areas. They also have stripes around their neck, chest, face and tail. The Jeffrey's cat is mainly nocturnal and usually sleeps in trees or dense vegetation during the day. These animals spend a lot of time in the trees. They are very agile climbers and can walk along the underside of the branches. For this, they have sharp claws that are also great for hunting. Jeffrey's cats hunt in trees, in water and on the ground, mainly birds, fish, reptile, amphibians and small mammals, helping control small wild animal populations. They are secretive and solitary animals with home ranges between 2 to 12 square kilometers. Males have larger ranges than females. Geoffrey's cats are polygynous, which means that one male mates with multiple females, and females can have one litter per year of one to four kittens. The mother gives birth inside a den, which could be a rock crevice, bush, or nook up in a tree. Newborns can stand at around four days old, start to walk at two or three weeks old and climb by six weeks. The females alone raise the young until they become fully independent at eight months old. Something unusual among cats is that this species is known to get up on its back legs with the support of its tail to scan what's going on in its surrounding. The cat's greatest threat is habitat destruction due to deforestation and overhunting for the fur trade. It also suffers from predation by dogs and vehicle collisions. Heavy commercial hunting pressure from the 1960s to the late 1980s is believed to have reduced populations. Currently, the Jeffrey's cat is listed as least concern on the IUCN because it is widespread and abundant over most of its range, but there are no estimates of population size. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the most widespread of all pig species. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time.